River State Microfinance Agency, RIMA, is giving out loans to businesses and individuals. Loans worth up to 10 million naira. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply and be successful for this loan. Many people are charging up to 5,000 naira for you to be able to apply. Some are charging 2,000 naira. But I'm going to give it to be giving, giving it for you for free. So ensure you watch this video to the end. So just like I have told you, I'm going to be showing you how you can apply for the River State Microfinance Agency loan. So once you click on the link, just like I've dropped in the in the description of this video, uh, rima.ng, it will take you to this point. Uh, this is the home page. So what you get to, um, uh, you can see that it's red. So what you need to do is, you will uh, have to go to the top right corner of the screen. You see, we are, if you are using mobile, you will see we are uh, showing the three dot there. Just click on it, and then you click on apply. It depends on the area you want. So I'm going, majority of, of persons will be applying for the loan below one million naira. So let's use that for this sake of this tutorial of this training. So let's click on below one million naira. So let's wait for it to load. I uh, just allow it to load. Sometimes when you load, when it, when it loads, it will not load properly. It may not load the form. So you just need to refresh the page again. Sometimes it will just get to this point and end. But all you need to do is to uh, refresh the load, the, 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 your screen, uh, your browser, it will start loading. So I'm going to explain all these areas for you one after the other. Yes. So uh, at, the, at the end of the video, I will also tell you the type of business that you should use so that you can also get the loan because not all businesses will be for, uh, that are uh, fund ready so i'm going to tell you the type of business that you have. so what i'm going to do is to try to watch the video to the end uh there are some areas you need to feel also that i will also want to discuss about so without wasting much ado let us see how we can start and from the first place you see name of chief promoter or the director of the business who is promoting this business this loan Ah, so what you need to do is to input your name there. We introduce or input your name there, and then come here, input the home address. Uh, that is the address where you are located. If your name is Adebayo, Ade, Adebayo, uh, never mind, Adebayo, Ego, just input your name there. Make sure you start with capital, all names must be must be in capital letters and then you come your home address you put your home address note that your home address should be the ad, an address that is in river state remember also that even if you are not from river state you can still apply for the loan and you'll get it but your business address must be in river state i just like i used to tell people this money is not my money so i'm going to expose certain things for you so that everybody can get it ah so once you are able to get it, but ensure you pay back. So as I say, you put your home address, try to put the address that is located in River State, and then the state where your business is located. Hi, this place must be River State. This place must be Rivers. River State. This place must be River State. Make sure that it is River State by default. Don't change it. And then your LGA. Try to input your LGA where your business is located. Any local government in River State will be up or have a baby man done. We'll have um, uh, a check and all of that. So your email address, your telephone number, your business name. This business name, remember, it is not necessary that you must have a business name. A registered business name. This business name is just the name that is used to describe your business. Let's say you are into fishery and maybe your name is uh, Adebayo, Adebayo Joy. You can say Ade Joy Fishery or Joy Ade Fish Farm. Yeah, if you are into fishery, you can just say Adebayo Joy Fish Farm or you can say Joy Fish Farm, Joy Fish Farm, just any name, even though the name is not registered. It's carried because you don't you're not required to uh, submit your CAC. And then your business address. 
And here also, we need to, uh, business address must be an address that is in River State. The address, sometimes you can do, your, your business address can be the address, same address of your home. And so just, if it is the same address you're using in your home, you can just input it here. The name of years at this business address. How long have you been in this business, in this address that you're putting? Hmm. You indicate how long. Ensure that it is not less than three years also. Even if you're just, you just staying there for the first time. Ensure that it's not less than three years because before they will give you a loan, they must make sure that you are consistent with the business. And business consistency starts from three years. Any business that have lasted for three years is said to be consistent. And so please, please do that. And then your NIN and then your BVN. Please include these two sections because it's very necessary. These are the things that you will use to check your details. See whether you're qualified for it. Also, don't be afraid of putting your BVN in any form you are submitting. Sometimes people feel that they uh, uh, people will hack their account, they will do this, they will do that. It's not done. It's not, no, nobody can do that. Uh, nobody can take your account from you through your BVN or take your, take your money from you through your NIN. It's not possible. So the next thing is the loan information. How much do you want to borrow? Remember, we are talking about a uh, one million naira loan. So the option here is, is cannot does not exceed one million naira. So the loan amount should be one million naira. And then note, also note that it's not necessary that you must take one million naira, but don't take below five hundred thousand. This is the required amount. This is the amount that you can pay for pay back, because you can see the cost of active uh, cost of living right now very high. So in five hundred thousand, you can run a business and pay back. Then one million naira and, and also you don't take anything less than that. Let's take it's a federal government money. So don't take anything less than that. Take something that is high so that you can pay back gradually. So how long do you want to pay back the loan? Please don't take six months. Don't take because your business is booming, you're very sure you want to pay back or you have money you want to pay back. Don't take six months. Make it make sure it's nine months. And then so that there are contingencies so that you'll be able to face problems when they when they arrive and then the extension of the month will help you to uh, survive. Then, how frequent do you want to repay this money? You want to repay the money monthly. Make sure it's not daily. Make sure it's not weekly. Make sure you are taking monthly. Okay, then what do you want loan for? This is area where you highlight the things you want to use this money to buy. Let's assume you are into poultry, a fishery. So, what you need here is maybe you have some pounds already. You just say you need additional three pounds. You see, because you can you not just tell them that you need pawns. What you need is additional pawns because they expect you that since your business is already existing, you should have pawns already. So use your head. The next thing is fingerlings. We want fingerlings. Fingerlings are the small fishes that you use that you train. And so you have already, you have some fingerlings. You also need additional, let's say, 20,000 fingerlings. And then the next thing you need here is. Um, perhaps you need a generator set. Uh -huh. You need a generator set so that you'll be able to pump water. Don't tell them you need a borehole because you cannot be giving this money to start the borehole. If the borehole and fish ponds, borehole and ponds are the two major things you should have as a fish farmer. If you don't have all these things, then you're not ready for a fish farmer. So you should be able to have them. So don't just tell them you want a, 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 a additional borehole. You don't need it. You already have an existing borehole. The next thing you need to itemize here is that you need to buy feed, fish feed. You can mention the 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 number of bags you need or the type of fish fish feed you need. There. But what you just need particularly is fish feed. And then if there's another thing you want to add here, no problem. So these are the things that you need. If you are into any kind of other business, I'll mention the things that you need. Things you need to buy use for the money for. So what our business do you do? This is where since you have you have added these items here, you already it's already clear that you are into fishery. So just say you are into fishery. And then what are your products and services? The things you do is you sell fish. Okay, okay, I already have a, a, something that I've already submitted before. I, I sell dry fish, fresh fish, farm setup. That means you set up farm for people and all of that. So that is what you need to do. This is the, their place, the, the, what they require is that when you're paying back, how do you pay, what are the things you market to pay back? That is what you're going to indicate there. Then how long have you been into this business? This is also going to be in accordance, it's not be less than three to four years. 
is going to be in accordance to what you filled here earlier here that is here number of years at this business at this address not all businesses can be relocated at at ease and if you are relocating your business so frequently it means you're not consistent so it should be existing in a particular location for three to four years so what we filled here was three years and then you need to come back here and then say three to four years please don't don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel like i told you i'm going to expose or give you a detailed information on the type of loan you, the type of business you should be doing so if you able to get this loan then you come down here and then you click agree you agree with the terms and conditions you choose a file submit a, the, your passport should be nothing less than 5 mb sometimes you struggle to get 5 mb uh, uh, size of uh of a, of your picture you know our phone saves picture for more the, the picture size are always more than sometimes always more than 10 uh, 10 mb and so what you need to do here is you just need to go take your take a selfie send it to uh to somebody on whatsapp then tell the person to return the uh the the uh the picture back to you and then the size will be reduced and then you submit now that is how you submit for the for this one i was going to talk about how you can submit for the other one the one of one point uh, one above one million naira. and but what type of business do you need to put so that you get this money let me just tell you now the type of business they want to you know they are funding presently is business that are based in agriculture so it's not just ordinary business you can put submit any other business so that is the chance of getting this loan is high is uh, uh, lower compared to those who are into agriculture so what because the government want to ensure that there's food there's uh, uh, less food scarcity because you know how expensive foods are and so if you are into fishery cassava processing or garlic processing uh, you are into palm oil processing and all of that this is a good uh, chance for you to apply even if you don't want to do this do this business you can still apply assuming that you are doing it so once you get the fund you cannot go into it if you already have passion for it and so that is how you apply for here and then once you click submit when you click the submit button it will take you it will send you a mail so when you are filling this form make sure that you place a request or email address ensure you put a correct email address because they're going to send you mail to confirm that you have submitted this form and then and that is all so if you want to apply for the loan of above one million naira, the criteria are different let's just click on it and go back there uh -huh. you can see the criteria here you must have a cac uh, registered corporate affairs commission business is registered under corporate affairs commission not only that you must also have guarantor so let when you go down here you see uh, first external guarantor the company of the guarantor residential address of the guarantor occupation of the guarantor the position of the guarantor name of second guarantor so you need two guarantors to be able to get this uh, so the guarantors will have to they will have to have to reach them and then they so that they also fill the guarantors form and then loan above 10 million should have a pro, uh, 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 a property uh, either a landed property or a bank guarantee if you are applying for a loan up to 10 million so that is how you so you just to say almost the same process you can see it's almost the same process but you must the difference here is that you must have a corporate affairs commission uh, uh you must have a cac so that is it so you can quickly apply for the loan before the time goes up thank you very much thank you for watching my video make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel because i'll be dropping updates on a regular basis updates that will benefit you and put money in your pocket thank you